Hello guys, today we will learn how to make electrolysis of a concentrated solution of potassium iodide. So here in this solution we have a concentrated, it means we have a great amount of Ki in the solution. So here we have the component of solution which is water and a Ki. So like when we derive electrolysis a process in water, a small or let's say tiny percent of water molecules split up into ions and we know Ki is ionic compo compound so it's completely dissolved in water so let's say what happened here here for water molecules some of the water molecules split up to hydroxide ion which is OH negative and H plus and K completely dissolved in water which gave us K plus and I negative so when we bought them an electrolysis cell we got four types of ions so guys let's introduce you to the electrolysis cell here the main parts of electrolysis cell which is electrolyte or the place of ions electrodes the conductors of electricity and the source of voltage which is a battery okay we call the positive terminal of electrolysis cell anode which is positively charged and same for cathode which is negatively charged the process that takes a place in the anode is oxidation process and the process that takes a place on the cathode is reduction so the concentrated solution of potassium iodide consists of four types of ions here we have K plus, H plus, OH negative, and I negative. All of the ions here are attracted to the opposite electrodes. Here in the anode, we have a competition between OH negative and I negative. Which of these two ions will be oxidized? According to the rule, we say we have a concentrated potassium iodide, which means we have a lot of I negative ions in the solution, which is the priority for I negative to be oxidized. So here say Okay, we have a concentrated solution of halide, so I2 will be formed in the anode. Okay, so let's see what is the oxidation half equation here. As we see, according to the definition of oxidation process, which means it's a losing of electrons, so 2I negative will lose two electrons forming I2. Okay, and we know I2 has a color of a brown when it be in the solution. Okay, so what about cathode here? I negative attracted to the anode and lose an electron. This electron will move through the circuit and it comes here. All right, so here we have a lot of waiting ions. We have two positive ions. We have K plus and H plus. So which of these elements, or let's say which of these ions will accept the two electrons? According to the rule, the least reactive element will be reduced. So according to the reactivity series of the elements, hydrogen is less reactive than potassium. So hydrogen will be reduced. Okay? And so here we have the half reduction equation for hydrogen. Here we have hydrogen, it gains electrons and becomes H2. So if you were gonna notice the bubbles of hydrogen gas here, and the product will be here I2. So this is the product in the anode and this is the product in the cathode. I hope you enjoy guys. Enjoy your time. Let's go to the experiment.